guy <clears throat> hello guys welcome back to the channel big fins little fins aquatics uh, today is tank maintenance Tuesday and I am just going through the tank um, taking away all the dead leaves gonna do a water change maybe try and sort this blasted filter out because it is driving me insane the filter that I did the video about why you shouldn't buy um, I do intend to replace that at some point, but I just don't have the spare fundage at the moment. Um, this is what I've taken off the leaves already, um, so I'm just going to carry on doing that, and I'll come back to you when I've finished. So I just wanted to show you this quickly, guys. What I've decided to do here is chop down this Anubius. Um, into three and just cut along the rhizome there that's it I'll just cut along the rhizome there and we've got one we've got two we've got three three near Anubius plants now and they should just carry on growing just by themselves so I'll float the other two I'll put the one back down there and the other two will go into other tanks when it's ready. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick. So, I just wanted to show you what I've done here. I've cut this bacopa down. And we're not going to gonna throw this away. I've cut the last few leaves off each stem. And I'll simply just place that down into the substrate. And that will grow more. And... It will just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. That's what I've done with every single bit of this. I think I started off with five stems originally. There's there's good 20 in there now. Just from propagating it like that. It's really easy to do. Really simple. None of these plants are difficult to work with. Um, yeah, so I'll just pop these down in the substrate and I'll show you that afterwards. So, there's all the plants trimmed. You, it's a bit cloudy at the moment because obviously I've been kicking up substrate and stuff like that. So there's all the plants trimmed now. Um, I'm going to be floating these plants in one of these tanks for now. Hopefully they'll do alright from the ambient light because I haven't got any lights on these yet. I'm still in the process of setting them up. So hopefully they'll do alright in there. You know, they're, they're all low light plants so the ambient light from the room and... That tank there should hopefully as it you know it's on that side so hopefully that will be enough for them but yeah I'm gonna switch off the filter now and maybe tackle that or do a water change I'm not 100% sure yet uh, I'll see what happens I'll try and back in a minute guys so guys what I've decided to do is tackle that monstrosity of a filter you know the thing I hate most about this tank is this filter and it will be being replaced as soon as I've got the cash to replace it but the problem being is I'm trying to focus on getting this all set up so I've got to buy all the stuff for this at the moment so you know we'll um, we'll get round to it eventually the thing is it works it does its job it's just annoying so, you know, it's not like it's broken, there's no filtration. And thankfully at the moment, there's no fish. There will be fish at the end of the month though. Oh, I forgot to show you. This, yeah, is, I know it doesn't look like much, but this is one of the runners off the jungle vale. And all I do, because I don't want any more jungle vale growing outwards now, I want it all to stay at the rear, I want this front part to stay open swimming area so I don't want any more growing that way so all I do every time I see one growing towards the front snip it at the runner which you'll be able to see if you just lift it up a little bit snip it there and then you've got yourself another bit of valve and what I'll do is I'll um, I'll probably pop this bit up in one of these little pots and have it down in that tank for now until this one gets a bit of substrate or something. I don't think this one's going to get substrate. But this one may do. Or this one or this one. Or one of them ones down the bottom there. So, you know, we'll, we'll 
we'll plan that as we go. But yeah, so tackling the EFX 2000 right now. So I'll come back to you when I've got it out and ready to go. Oh yeah guys, um, one of the things I forgot to point out in the video that I did about this filter is that it's actually too big for the cupboard. It won't come out. So you have to take it apart to get it out, regardless of you know whatever you do. It just doesn't want to come out. Um, that might not be for all cupboards, obviously. That's just my cupboard, and you know, and imagine there's a standard size for the smaller tanks. So yeah, just just a little one there. So there's the canister itself out of the cupboard which was a nightmare but you know um, and in here we have the canister booster which has basically got another set of media in and it filters through that first before it comes through into that one um, I also have a small intake sponge on the inlet um, it's one of these ones here which I buy from eBay and unfortunately they don't fit over but what they do is they fit inside so you take the little cage uh, strainer off, you pop this inside the strainer, that way it fits inside. And I just take it off once a week, give that sponge a little rinse, and then I'll maintenance this probably every month or so. You know, there has been fish in this tank, but there isn't at the moment, so... Yeah, um, yeah. You know, for all intents and pur or intensive purposes, this filter isn't a bad thing and on paper it you know it should be amazing it just you know it's this whole oh there's air trapped in the system there's air trapped in the system I don't know how much air can actually be trapped in a canister filter but this thing is constantly just the noise it makes is just unbearable so yeah I'll turn, I'll click back in, I'll come back when I've cleaned it a little bit. So this is what we've got inside the canister booster. We've got a coarse, medium and fine sponge. And all that will just filter out all the crap before it goes through into the, the larger canister. Which I'll show you now. And this is the actual main body of the filtration and all I have in this is filter plus that's it don't have anything else but filter plus oh um yes I do have something else actually I have um uh bio bio ceramic bio rings and things um, and that's it that's all I have and the, the, the trays are just full of yeah, and you know that gives me pretty clean water but this does all the main filtration first as you can see hence why that's so much dirt yeah but clean it out and I'll come back to you when I'm all clean and got it going so I've got them taken apart all I'll do now is run a hose from the fish tank into here I will clean all of this in this canister itself with fish tank water will not use any other water from any taps nothing it's very important that you remember not to do that with cleaning canister filters because if you do clean it from a tap you're gonna just kill your cycle and you know you, you're, gonna, you're gonna end up killing all your fish more than likely so yeah remember don't use tap water use tank water run a hose i know that water doesn't look clean but it's a lot cleaner than this and you only have to squeeze these up a few times and they'll be pretty clean um, as for this dirty crap, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use it to put in that tank up there to start the cycle going. I mean, I've had the sponge filter in the other tank anyway, but you know this will just give it an added boost. So I'll get a layer of mould and stuff to break down. So yeah, I'll come back when I've got a little clean. Right, so there we have it, it's all cleaned out, all the crap's out of it. Um, normally I would put more cleaner filter floss in, but unfortunately I don't have any 
at the moment, so we just have to make do. There's no fish in there at the moment, so we'll be alright for now. I'll get some. But yeah, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give my glass a wipe down before I take the last bit of water out of the tank and then put the filter back in. So I'll come back to you when I'm ready to put the filter back on. So that's all my glass cleaned off. Um, when I say I cleaned it off, I literally use an old kitchen sponge. Well, it's a kitchen sponge that I primarily only ever use for this tank. Um, I have separate ones for every tank. Don't use the same one. Um, uh, yeah, and I just give it a wipe down, give the front glass a good clean, any algae that may be growing on the front grass. So I had a few little tiny spots of green spot algae, algae, um, the sides I give a little wipe down, the back I give a little wipe down and I literally li just give it a wipe down like nothing too major, no scrubbing involved um, so yeah now all I've got to do is use that pipe to refill the canister filter and the booster and then I think that's more or less us done so the canister's all back in now, um, hopefully there's no little leaks, um, I've tightened all the joints back up, I've put everything back the way it's supposed to be, um, what else have I done, oh yeah, i found um, some little pieces of spray bar, so I decided I was going to extend my spray bar, so it goes along three quarters of this tank now. So yeah, that's another thing that I've done. Um, I mean, hopefully this has dealt with this filter and it's not going to keep messing me around anymore. I had to turn my heater off, silly boy. Rookie error. Um, yeah, hopefully it's not going to keep messing me about, but you know, that's doubtful. We can but hope. So I'll try and back in when I've filled her up. Good then, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's see. If the filter has been sorted out this time, because I've tried so many more times and it's just not doing what it should, but we'll find out. So, you can hear the water running through it, so I'll come back in half an hour, see if it's still spitting and spluttering like it always does or we've solved the problem well so that's that tank there filled with the mulmy water that you see me clean from my filter so now I've got a sponge filter in and hopefully that will be clear in a few hours with a bit of look oh tomorrow it's no rush though there's no fish going in there for a little bit and there is this one after maintenance and it's looking pretty nice but I'll come back in about an hour's time when the water's all cleared up and that and I'll show you and hopefully the filter's not making too much of a noise it's not at the moment so you know maybe I'll fix the problem but I'm not holding my breath because there's been a numerous occasion it's been numerous occasions where I thought I'd fixed it it's been fine for three days then all of a sudden stupid noises again and you know them filters aren't worth the trouble, I don't think. But like I say, it will be replaced. But yeah, so I'll come back in about an hour's time when those tanks have had a chance to clear up and that. And we'll have a look. So guys, there you have it. Tank maintenance Tuesday complete. Um, all of that maintenance took me around about an hour. But it doesn't normally take that long, to be fair. It's only because I decided I was going to try and tackle that nightmare of a filter um, yeah so it's all done if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments section about anything that I've done today anything to do with the plants anything to do with the water changes anything and I will get back to you um, yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next